this? Uh, excuse me? How do you do this? What? How you do it? I have no idea what you're talking about. How you do this? What, what the hell do you want from me? How do you make panoramic video? Wait a second, you mean that stupid <laughs> shit? Who cares how I make it? That is not VR. Uh oh, retard alert! You sick of shit, bro. How do you do that? Okay guys, my name is Max and you're watching a tutorial how to make a 360 video the way I do it in Blender 3D. Okay, first off, let's make sure you have everything you need to get started. Download Blender 3D. Go to blender.org and download the latest Blender for your system. Your version should be below 2.8. It's not out at this moment, but in this version, developers got rid of the Blender game engine. Get comfortable with Blender 3D. Make sure you check out tutorials on Blender 3D interface, polygon modeling, applying materials, rigging and animation, basics of Blender game engine. I will leave links uh, to a needed lessons in the description, so make sure you check them out. Get a screen capture program of your desire. I personally use Fraps and OBS. Get a video editing software capable of rendering to avc.mp4 format. Download a YouTube special media metadata injector software. The link will also be in the description. The last thing you will need is a complete scene that is ready to be captured in a panoramical format. Since I don't use Blender render in any way other than to bake normal maps, we're not going to be using this mode we need to switch to Blender game engine. Next thing that is necessary, go to the Scene tab, the Shading section and switch Shading Material Mode to GLSL. And now let's set up your camera. To get a glimpse of what a viewer will see in your video, you should set up the camera lens field of view to 100 degrees. This will match up the camera lens from YouTube's 360 player viewport. Now, go to the standalone player section and set the anti-aliasing to 2x at least. It's not a vital necessity, but at the same time, if your hardware can handle this task, the result will look much better. Make sure you also switch to full screen mode with the desktop option enabled, so the output will accommodate to your monitor's resolution and aspect. Next thing to set up is an output. And that is where the magic happens. Go again to the Scene tab, then to Stereo section and change the output to Dome. Set the Dome type to Spherical Panoramic and max out Tessellation. I would also suggest that you turn off the V-Sync option in System section, because it works like <coughs> and can cause some major hiccups during camera movement. To set the resolution, we will use your desktop parameters. Go to your graphic cards tools or whatever you use to change resolution. And here, create a custom resolution setting. The goal is to set up 2 to 1 aspect and the highest resolution you can go until your hardware is able to consistently perform a 30 FPS frame rate. The next thing you need to do is to fire up the screen capture program of your desire, start the game and do whatever you have planned to show to your viewers. After editing your video, you should render it into a AVC MP4 file. Remember to turn off resampling for each individual piece of video, so each frame is crisp and has no blur and in-between frames in it. Now, use a link from this video description and download a little piece of software provided by YouTube. This thing called Spatial Media Metadata Injector will open your MP4 file and inject a needed metadata so YouTube will recognize its format and use a 360 player for this particular video. And that about wraps it up. Next time I will share some of my thoughts as to what to do and what not to do in 360 format, which can be funny considering that my videos are often a great example of how not to make 360s. So thank you guys a lot for watching this little tutorial. Write down in the comments what specific stuff you want to know from me 
and I will answer you directly or include the answer in my upcoming video. Goodbye.